Hi everyone, in this um, quick video um, we are going to make a vegetable curry but this vegetable curry is slightly different the same, we cannot replicate the same veggie curry you get when you order a biryani from any Indian restaurant or your local curry house the, we will try to show you a, a veggie curry the side dish they give you with your biryani like meat biryani, chicken biryani and vegetable biryani there's always tend to you always tend to get a, a side dish of a vegetable curry comes along with your biryani so hopefully we'll get close to it because I'm not in a restaurant environment and I don't longer own a restaurant but we do things in our kitchen now and me and my missus so together we will show you a veggie curry. We'll try to get closest to the restaurant veggie curry. So what we have here is some sweet corns and a mixed vegetable. Now this we're using farmhouse mixed vegetable. As you can see it's Tesco's but you can use Asda, Sainsbury's, um, so many other supermarket available right. So there you are and you can also add what we're doing we're going to add uh, two small potatoes, yeah, well, not small potatoes, two, two potatoes here. And for greens, you can use greens, but we will use them, we'll put some cauliflower leaves in there just, just to give it a bit more greenish flavor. That's about it. So, a couple of onions, and we're going to show the onions, potatoes, some greens, you got some cauliflower, we have some cauliflower leaves laying about, so we're going to use that, and the other stuff. Okay, lovely. So let's go and show you how we do it. Right, so we just chopped um, chopped the potatoes. Uh, so normally what I did, I just chopped them in square shapes, smaller piece. And also, I'll give a little, little wash. Right, so we're gonna put some some sweet corn. Not too much. And chop it. Let's put some vegetables in there. Up a bit, the water through. So, because it's the fish sort of frozen, I'm just washing it with hot water to get rid of the ice. So it's taking less time to cook. A little mix. Another piece of advice uh, for you guys and girls, when you're doing shredding onions, make sure you keep the, the bottom bit of onion on. Cut the top off, leave the bottom. And the reason is, so when you're shredding it, it doesn't come apart. Okay, so make sure and always mind your fingers when you're doing this. Uh, See if you don't cut, if you cut this bit off, the bottom bit, and only you cannot shred it. All everything will come apart. Every layer of onion will come apart. All right, so we're almost done. There we go. Make sure you always use behind your fingers whenever you do this, please. And you shred your fingers together. Don't you ever do that. Anymore. Make sure you be careful. There you go. All right, there we go. Right, so this is how they normally tend to do the chef in, in the restaurant. And they will chop, say, fresh carrots and cauliflower leaves and green potatoes. They will put, they will put peas and some cases they will put sweet corn. And also 
uh, they tend to cook it like a buna style dry and leave it on a tray. Once uh, somebody comes and orders a biryani, they'll scoop a bit out from the tray and put a couple of scoop of um, base gravy and just just cook it and that's how they make uh, vegetable curry. So let's go and do our style of vegetable curry. I'll put a link down at the bottom of this video so you can watch how to make this gravy restaurant style. A bit of salt going in there. So we'll put some vegetable oil and then the shredded onion for the gravy. In turn, that will give you the base gravy style. So we cook it for a couple of minutes, for five minutes. Now we are going to add the, the spice. Right, so we are going to add the we wait it till the onion get kind of a golden brown. Uh, so, one teaspoon of mixed curry powder. Dania powder. Chili. and hold the powder so it's best idea to burn the spice a bit so the spice loses its rawness so a couple of minutes if you stir it always keep on stirring it Keep on watching if you don't burn it, you know. Just keep a bit of the room with it in there, there we go.
mix all the spice in and everything while it and then we'll leave for a couple of minutes just to cook and then we'll add the water. Everyone, all the vegetable cooked. The vegetable already cooked now. Now we're going to add the water. We're going to keep it uh, quite thick rather than runny because you tend to find in a restaurant uh, veggie side dish it's always runny. We'll We'll try to make it slightly thicker. There we are. So we're going to put some coriander there. And stir it a bit more. Slightly don't stir too much or you smash all the vegetable up. And we leave it for a couple of more minutes to cook. And hopefully, our vegetable curry will be ready. Right everyone, we finished our vegetable curry. Now, whenever you go to the restaurant, obviously they make their vegetable curry very, very runny. You know, quite, but we, we, we made it quite thick. So, same procedure, if you want to put a bit more water, you could do that. But we ma made sure we kept a bit uh, dryish. So that's how we made our homemade veggie curry. The principle is the same. The more water you put, the more runny becomes. And if you put too much water, then you lose the taste. So I hope you enjoyed this video and all of my other videos. Please, please click like, subscribe and comment button make comments on the video I hope you liked it uh, so yeah go ahead and try it home and watch my the other video on how to make base gravy so and once again thank you so much